So right here as a testimony, I'm Robert Taylor, known as Twix, born and raised in North Las Vegas, uh, a business owner of Fade Mall Barbershop franchise. All these barbers petitions here are entrepreneurs themselves because they have their own license. To let you know at any given moment, uh, barbershops get about a thousand people a week in their shop with our families. And that's why the barbershop salons are pivotal places for us to give tangible information. There's no president, uh, governor, mayor, alderman, uh, councilman who could change your life, but all these people should give you information where you could change your life. And I say that to say this, Congressman Stephen Horsford, during the height of the pandemic, when uh, we had to shut down our shops for four and a half months, and I understand why, right? Uh, he reached out to me. And, and reached out and said, put the word out for all barbers petitions because a lot of us can receive PPP, right? And I put a Zoom, I put the information out there for Zoom and thank God I was able to receive that money and then keep it 100 as the kids say. If it wasn't able to receive that money from the CARES Act, we probably wouldn't be here right now recording this video. You know, over 50% of the job market is by small business owners. So yes, me and everybody else who are small business owners, we're the ones who keep this engine going in America. So if you don't have our backs, you don't have the backs of the Americans, period. I don't care, Democrat, Republican, Independent, Libertarian, it doesn't matter. If you don't have the people who are hiring people's back, the whole country fails. And I wanna say, I can attest that he's the one who called me up and I'll put the information that's for all barbers and beauticians to receive the information to get PPP. And I wanna thank you for that, you know, that, that's, once again, I appreciate that. And make sure you vote. I got I got Sinjin here. Once again, as barbers, you know, we're like we're like uncles, father figures, therapists. This is this is my client, but like my nephew. And he's gonna register today also because that's what we do. We got promise here. Come on, another young entrepreneur. Come on, come right in the camera. This is this is Miss Promise here. She's a young entrepreneur, you know. Uh, she knew Congressman was coming by, so she came by just to say hi and, and meet him also because she's a young entrepreneur and she brought coffee. Okay? So that's what we're doing here, all right? So make sure you vote and same day registration. Be on election day, you can right. register to vote. Seriously. No excuse. No Everybody can vote if previously incarcerated citizens can register to vote in the state of Nevada, unlike other states that are trying to suppress the vote.